With all of the overwhelming challenges a new teacher faces, why focus on classroom organization? What is the impact of effective classroom organization on classroom management? Why is classroom organization important? Your stu students were so helpful and they made my day easy. They knew exactly what to do. What is classroom organization and why is classroom organization important? Hey there teachers, Marion Busfield here with Engaging Curiosity. Thanks so much for joining me here for one of my weekly videos. As a faith-led, retired classroom and SPED teacher, my passion is to support you on your journey to calm classroom chaos and elevate student engagement in ways that free up your time outside of the classroom. Despite my passion for teaching, my transition from learning support into the classroom filled me with fear and trepidation. I knew at least some of my weaknesses and that left me with some imposter syndrome. Fortunately, as a former SPED coordinator, homeschool parent and teacher, literacy interventionist and program coordinator, and most importantly, wife to a high school teacher and mother of two, I brought decades of diverse experiences with me that I'm here to share with you. As I applied everything I learned, classroom management became a breeze and teaching became everything I had believed it could be. I have bolded it all down to five pillars of classroom management upon which everything else rests. To find out more about those five pillars of classroom management, download my free classroom management checklist. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get back to today's topic. Classroom organization is one of the essential tools for effective classroom management and student instruction. Organization was definitely something I had to learn. My house is clean, but it can gather a few piles here and there. However, I have been fortunate enough to have had a few opportunities to learn how to organize. And when I became a teacher, these opportunities meant I was able to get a brand new classroom up and going from scratch. Creating systems and effective classroom organization had such a powerful impact on relieving the stress and boosted my classroom management. When I consider the question, why is classroom management organization, sorry, important, my internal answer is not something I attach words to initially. But I do get a sense of calm and I remember my students moving confidently around my classroom on task with a sense of purpose. They were thriving and they loved it. The best thing ever for my classroom management was to have a clear system of classroom organization. So what is classroom organization? Hey there again. Thank you for spending this time with me. Just a reminder about the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Classroom organization is so much more than how we organize the physical space of our classrooms. Effective classroom organization includes physical layout, storage systems, routines and procedures, visual organization, digital organization, the ability for the organization to be flexible and adaptable. So what is the difference between classroom management and classroom organization? In order to understand why classroom organization is important, I want to clarify the difference between classroom management in classroom organization. There are three key, key differences between classroom management and classroom organization. One, the scope of the effective classroom organization. It primarily focuses on the physical environment and layout of the classroom and how it supports classroom management. That said, the actions that are involved in routines and procedures are an essential part of classroom organization and are intertwined with using and maintaining the physical elements of the classroom organization. Classroom management is focused on behavior management, instructional strategies, and community building, and it involves teaching the routines and procedures involved with the classroom organization. Two, goals and purpose of classroom organization. The aim of effective classroom organization is to create an efficient and functional learning space, enabling students to complete their work effectively. The outcome of effective classroom management is to create a positive, orderly, and inclusive envi classroom environment that makes engaging instruction and dynamic learning possible. And three, how to organize the classroom. Effective classroom organization involves arranging physical elements and structures and the routines and procedures for interacting with the various tools and elements. With effective classroom management, the teacher will implement strategies and techniques that build community while maintaining order, engagement, and academic growth. However, despite the differences between classroom management and classroom organization, they are intertwined. Teachers implement classroom management strategies for 
reinforcing classroom expectations about classroom chores and routines around returning things students have used back to where they belong. These routines are a part of maintaining the essential organization of the classroom. So why is classroom organization important? Classroom organization serves many purposes. Within a well-organized classroom, a teacher is providing a stable, positive and welcoming environment that creates the bedrock for students to take risks and become engaged and motivated. The routines and procedures are part of the classroom organization that creates an underlying hum of efficiency as your students move about complete tasks and transitions between activities confidently knowing they are on task. This efficiency saves time and reduces stress for everyone and makes classroom transitions a snap. Effective classroom organization promotes order, reduces disruptions, and enables smooth transitions between activities, making managing classroom at transitions a breeze. Students know their job and confidently get to it. Everyone knows where supplies are, and so there is no chatter from them trying to figure that out. Lots of chatter, just not from that. Within an organized classroom, a teacher has created systems that support differentiation. One example for my classroom was that different levels of writing paper were always available, regardless of whether we were doing writing workshop or writer's workshop. Finally, for all your students, but especially for those with executive functioning issues related to organization, you are modeling, teaching, and providing students with opportunities to practice organizational skills. Why is classroom organization important? Simply put, it is like the oil in an engine. It is the lubricant that makes everything run smoothly. Just bite off small chunks and organize one thing at a time. You got this. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. One final thank you for sharing your time with me today. I want to encourage you that growth for a teacher is just like growth for a student, one step at a time. Be kind to yourself and congratulate yourself for each step forward that you take. You have been blessed with an amazing calling. The, the challenges are many, but I'm here to support you. You've got this. With my desire to walk with you in mind, I offer one last reminder. If you found this or any other video helpful, I encourage you to download the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.